Hey guys, what's up? Do I want to chew tonight with a review for the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League? Now I'll start it off by saying, oh my god, that movie is long. Four flipping hours. Thankfully, it was entertaining enough to keep you going. Otherwise, it was like, boom. If you had to watch a movie for four hours and it was not entertaining, it would be not worth it. Thankfully, this one was. Um, I'll try not to give too many spoilers for those who have not seen it. But, um, it does explain more than the original Justice League that was released on how they got together. And kind of makes you bond a little bit more with the, with the characters. It does introduce another person that was not in the, the other one. Besides Dark Side and all that, all the baddies. Already knew the baddies were gonna be there. It has Martian Manhunter in it. When I first saw who he was, since I don't really do the book or the comics, didn't know much details, saw him in there, shape shifting. I was like, who the heck is this guy? At the end, it kind of explains. I will tell you the ending is more like a Lord of the Rings thing where it seems like his multiple endings. But hey, when you're getting when it's a one shot, go all in. And when you don't have a limit. <laughs> um does have the resurrection of Superman, who's a little it's a little more detailed in this one. And shows the future that it's really dark. A really bad future where Superman is actually evil. But, um. Shows a little more with the Flash. And, <clears throat> sorry. And it shows more with Aquaman. And we get a little more of the Amazons. We get a little more detail of the fight between them and Steppenwolf in the original time. So, it does give a lot more details. Said it's long. Make sure you can take potty breaks. Then there's exactly how the Amazons like the fire to warn Diana, which apparently the arrow is actually an arrow from Artemis. So it explains why it is ever even able to reach the mainland. Um. If I had to rate it for what it's about, I would definitely give it at least a 9 out of 10. The only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is, like I said, it's freaking long. Sometimes it's not fun to sit through four hours of a movie. But other than that, there was a few slow paces, but naturally all movies have those. Get Superman in a black Superman suit. Which I don't understand that one considering I don't do much about Superman. But still good. Still might be prophesized for his dark future. Even though in the dream Bruce Wayne had, he had the original colors. So I have no idea. And he goes original, he's a bad guy. Don't know. And it hints at. Bruce Wayne having a adopted son, which I don't know if that's supposed to be his Robin or his actual son that's in the animated movies. Definitely have to keep an eye out for that one. But anyways, that's getting my review because I don't want to give away too many spoilers. Just If you're really into that, and you don't mind watching a movie for four hours, go for it. It's a good movie. The only thing I did like better about the other one than this one was the whole scene with the lasso of truth and Aquaman sitting on it. But I like humor. But this one was darker, so that humor was probably not necessary. Anyways, that's it for tonight. I'll try to do the WandaVision tomorrow. 
I keep forgetting to do that one. Anyways, that's it for tonight, and I will see you guys on the next one.